Salutations, friends. It's your pal, said Stevie. And today, uh, I'm sure you've already figured it out by the thumbnail, but uh, I'm going to be unboxing and giving my first impressions on a very anticipated uh, prototype uh, that's actually up for pre-order right now. And uh, so let's uh, get into it. My unboxing knife is going to be the CDC Hansen. And for those of you that ask, uh, can you uh, middle finger flick uh, from the thumb stud on the Hansen? Yes, yes you can. Can I flick it? Yes I can. Uh, this is a sharp little bugger in its own right. Uh, really digging the uh, Hansen. But uh, this is the Clydesdale from our buddy Mark. Uh, new breed EDC. Uh, A.K.A. Loot 10 Tex. And I've been waiting to get my hands on this. I have already got in on the pre-order. Now let's check the note here. Real quick, I will pause. Alright, so uh, that note uh, goes over the specs and some of the details. Uh, which we will absolutely get into here. Boom, here it is. Ooh, it's a hefty little bugger. Bam, look at that. Uh, as I mentioned, this is the Clydesdale from New Breed EDC. Uh, you got front flipper, slot for deployment, uh, titanium, uh, liner lock. So uh, let's give it a flick. Let's check it out. Bam. Look at that. Look at that bad mamma jamma. Who? Okay. Front flipper. Not bad. Already, uh, I'll tell you one of the changes that's uh, coming up on this year. Uh, but, yes. Uh, quick uh, specs. You are looking at an overall length of 7.625 inches. That's a blade length of 3.3. A handle length of 4.3. And overall uh, weight is 14.7 ounces. So it's definitely got some heft uh, to it. Um, this is a modified Warncliffe uh, blade, he's calling it, uh, with a uh, uh, satin 14C28N on the blade steel. Uh, right now it looks like this is a flat grind, but this is going to be changing to a hollow grind. You see the uh, captured uh, pivot there, or I assume that's a D-shaped pivot, excuse me. Uh, I believe there's a filler tab. I'll go over all the changes there uh, in a second. Uh, titanium backspacer, uh, milled titanium pocket clip, uh, which will be uh, reversible. And then uh, some more what appears to be T8 hardware and a, a T8 pivot. Uh, liner lock, as I mentioned, which is a plus for me. I like a, a liner lock over a frame lock. This is writing on cage ceramic bearings. Lockup is good. I got uh, no lock stick there at all. And it is, uh, yeah, it looks like it's off center slightly, but um, that's probably because this has been passed around so much. Um, as I mentioned, you got a slot for deployment. Can I uh, use my thumb? Uh, I could use a little, okay, I can, absolutely. I just got to get up a little bit or down a little bit lower to uh, use my thumb. Um, easy access uh, to the lock bar. It wants to, it wants to free fall shut, it drops to the nail. And, you know, that's all on its own. Middle finger flick it, no, no problem. Front flipper. Uh, one of the things that uh, we'll discuss is the jimping is going to be going around uh, all uh, over the entire uh, front flipper tab. Uh, ergos are money. Ergos are money. I could already tell uh, by putting it in my hand, it locked in right away. Um, yeah, this is good. Uh, you got a little uh, indexing spot there. And then if you want to come over the top, you know, for any utility cuts or anything. Uh, this is uh, this is a dope little knife. I am uh, digging it. Uh, quick size comparisons uh, for you all. Uh, here is against the Hanson. So, uh, taller blade, obviously. Overall length is very similar-ish. Uh, uh, here it is against the Para 3. Not too far off in size comparison. 
but probably going to be a lot closer to the uh, Manix 2 in size. So uh, this is a not quite a full size knife, but it's uh, it's not a small knife by any means uh, whatsoever. And yeah, uh, there's a lot going for this knife. I think uh, the pre-order price right now is 115 bucks. Uh, it's not going to be open for much longer. And I'm actually going to uh, switch over to the. Uh, I'm going to switch over and show you guys the uh, website and how you can uh, order this. All right, so I've shown you guys an overview of, of the Clydesdale. Uh, so one of the things that uh, I talk about a lot, yeah, uh, it's not just about uh, the knife itself. Um, for me, uh, by the way, uh, in and out of pocket, uh, very uh, easy. Uh, this pocket clip is uh, totally good to go. Um, uh, but uh, it's not just about the knife for me. The knife's got to be good uh, for me to purchase it and support it. But uh, there's another element to it as well. And uh, that's the person or people behind the knife. And uh, Mark, uh, a.k.a. Loot 10 Tex, uh, New Breed EDC, is a dude who I, uh, I really vibe with. And uh, I'm going to share now uh, some of his social media for those of you that might not be following Mark. So this is his Instagram page. Uh, he goes by Loot 10 Tex. And this is where he's posting a lot of his updates and a lot of his other designs that he's working on. Uh, he's pretty active and uh, really keeps everybody updated, shows some of the uh, new videos that are being posted by other content creators. Uh, and he also has his own YouTube channel uh, under the same name, Loot 10 Tex. And uh, again, posts a lot of videos on here. Uh, he does also um, go live, uh, does the live in the lab uh, live streams that I believe are on every Saturday at 12 p.m. Pacific, my time. And yeah, uh, always a great live, always giving updates on there as well. Uh, in his About tab, you can uh, check out uh, some more of his info. But... Uh, yeah, really, uh, Instagram is probably where you're going to find a lot uh, of his updates. So let's head over to the actual website and show you guys where you can pre-order. So uh, this is newbreededc.com. Uh, just click on the Clydesdale tab there. Uh, it's going to give you a little uh, info on the knife itself and uh, show you the specs. Uh, which I already uh, talked about and I think probably dropped into the video. Uh, you add it to your cart, uh, 115 bucks. Uh, that's all you're paying for this. Uh, Kube, I think, is bringing a lot of value uh, with this knife. I think that he chose a good OEM. Uh, I think that this knife has a lot going for it for 115 bucks. Uh, one of the things that uh, Kube as an OEM does well, I think, is you're able to get a premium feel uh, of a knife for a pretty decent price. 150 bucks, uh, full titanium uh, scales, backspacer, and pocket clip. Uh, 14C28N on the blade steel to help keep that price point down. Um, I like me some good 14C28N. Uh, uh, it holds up well for my uh, tasks, and uh, it's easy to uh, bring back to life, whether you're stropping or you're just honing it in. Um, I think uh, uh, 14C is good to go, and I think a lot of people uh, are uh, in agreement uh, with that, uh, would agree with that uh, 14C is good to go. So uh, Mark, uh, you know, he's got a lot of cool designs, as I mentioned, and as you guys know, I'm drawn to the funky. Uh you know, case in point, uh, here's my uh, P&W from Edgy Blade Works. Um, I like the funky blade shapes. Uh, my tipper's in my backpack, or else I'd uh, show that off, too. Um, but 
uh, I like his design uh, language that he's got going on. I think he's uh, definitely got a, a talent for it. Um, all around talented dude, really. Uh, you know, he's a little bit of a lyricist as well. Uh, you, you've seen, uh, if you follow him on Instagram, uh, some of the uh, uh, music uh, that he's put out. But um, actually, I can show off some of his uh, other designs. They, uh, if you just go back to newbreededc.com and click on ground floor, uh, this will bring you to his upcoming designs. Uh, not the greatest thumbnails. Uh, you got to up your thumbnail game, uh, Mark. Uh, but there you can see the gallop, the mini horse, the morph, and the wingspan uh, shown off much better here on uh, Instagram, really, uh, his other designs. This is one that uh, caught my attention. Uh, I'm digging this. Uh, much slimmer uh, than the Clydesdale. Uh, but front flipper, back flipper, slot for deployment, uh, really digging that. And then the one that I think I've really been drawn to the most is the Morph uh, here. Uh, I'm really digging this. And I don't know if this is something he wants to release on his own or just license as a design. But look at that uh, sheep's foot blade. I'm really, really digging that. Uh, I'm loving the handle shape. Uh, just the overall aesthetic of the morph is something that I'm really into. So, yeah, uh, I'm really digging what uh, Lou is bringing to the table design-wise. You know, in order for me to spend my money these days, uh, first and foremost, uh, it's got to be a good knife for sure, but then I also really got to believe in the people behind uh, the project in order for me to back it. And uh, Mark is one of those people. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm choosing to uh, support this. Uh, so uh, I mentioned there's going to be some changes uh, to this knife. Um, as as I said, this is just uh, the prototype. Um, one, one of the knocks, knocks is not the greatest word. Uh, but, uh, one of the complaints that I uh, would have about this as is that he's already talked about in his videos and he's addressing is that, uh, the jimping definitely needs to wrap all the way around on, uh, the flipper tab there. Come on, focus. There we go. Um, and he even said, uh, he was a little, uh, antsy to get the prototypes in. So, uh, he did not uh, have them correct that, uh, for the prototypes. So that's something that's absolutely going to be corrected, but I think it gets, uh, you, you'll definitely get a better purchase on that. I have slipped off a couple times. Um, he said slightly stronger detent on here. Um, that's, that's fine. Uh, as is, he said one of these, um, had a weaker detent than the other one. I think this was the heavier of the two. Um, I got no problem with this detent. Uh, you can always fail a knife if you try, but I mean, I'm being pretty lazy here. And it's still firing, but to get a snappier detent is uh, never a bad thing. Uh, pull back the plunge grind if possible or increase the size of the sharpening choil. Uh, oh, actually, uh, he did address that in something uh, recently. I don't remember if it was on Instagram or uh, Live at the Hive. Uh, but he said that uh, also the sharpening choil is being moved uh, or being increased uh, considerably to where it's almost a usable uh, finger choil. So uh, he is addressing uh, that uh, on uh, the jimping and the plunge grind. Might add uh, jimping at uh, the choke up. Um, you'll never hear me complain about extending jimping, so uh, that's fine. I think as is, the jimping that's there is good and usable. Um, I would not mind it at all uh, moving forward, so I think that's good. Uh, chamfer uh, lock bar access near the lockup. Um, okay. I mean, refining the, that type of stuff uh, is never a bad thing. It's not a problem for me uh, whatsoever, uh, as is. Increase the size of the stop pin. Okay. I don't know if um, there's a little bit of blade play there. Maybe that has something to do with it. Uh, maybe the uh, fit may that might have something to do with uh, the fact that it's slightly off-centered too. 
Uh, maybe the uh, diameter of the stop pin is not quite what it is on the uh, cutout for that on the blade itself. Uh, ask for a hollow grind. So I'm going to ask if uh, that can be done as well. And ask for a belt satin uh, if possible on that. So there you go. Um, I think uh, as is, I got no problems uh, with this knife. Uh, the fact that he is correcting a bunch of that stuff uh, is also uh, a plus. And um, that's one of the nice things about being able to get a prototype out to people is uh, that you can uh, get their feedback and refine um, uh, your knife before uh, it gets out there. And so uh, the Clydesdale. Um, I don't know if I heard uh, the full reason behind uh, that name, but I mean... Clydesdale's a big, beefy uh, workhorse, right? That's what this knife is uh, in all sense of uh, the word. Um, feels good in hand, feels good in pocket, uh, very uh, hefty. Man, you hear those acoustics on there? I've been ignoring that, but there's some good acoustics on uh, this knife as well. Um, but yeah, uh, for 115 bucks, uh, you're getting a hell of a work knife. As I mentioned, uh, whether, you know, you're going to be doing utility cuts or uh, pinch grip, you know, uh, you got a nice uh, fine point on there. Um, but uh, again, 115 bucks, I think, is a good value for this. Uh, Kube is really, uh, I think, uh, one of the better OEMs to work with on uh, knives uh, in this price point. Uh, they've done it with uh, the, uh, I think, the Bridgeport uh, 395, was that Kubi? That might have been QSP, sorry. Um, but uh, I know the Devo uh, Knives Mash was also um, similar price point, uh, similar, uh, um, you know, materials. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll wet my whistle uh, real quick. Cheers to the CDC. Uh, coffee black like my soul um but yeah uh i'm rambling at this point uh i just wanted to make sure i really went over everything um if you guys got any questions definitely let me know uh make sure you hit up mark uh as well uh, again everything will be linked in the description uh including uh if we go back to uh the website here for you guys to uh get in on the Clydesdale and you know this is Mark's uh first uh, everybody's got to start somewhere right and um I think this is a great start for him uh and I'm really excited to see what else this guy uh can do and so uh yeah if you have any questions uh definitely uh drop them down uh in the comments uh you can hit up Mark uh, I'm sure uh, he would love to uh, hear from you and hear your feedback, even um, just uh, checking out the knife. So I'm not going to be spending a lot of time with this. Uh, I got it today and then tomorrow, and then I'm going to get it uh, out to the next uh, reviewer. Try to get uh, as many eyeballs on this as possible while he's still got the pre-order open. So um, he does. Uh, he, he still does have some work to go with being able to uh, fund the project. So um, definitely, if this is something that you're interested in, hop on it, man. I think you're getting a good knife uh, uh, from a good dude. So uh, that's all I got for you uh, folks right now. Uh, appreciate you tuning in. Um, you can check out the video and subscribe and all that good stuff right there. Don't forget to uh, like the video if you did like it. And uh, until the next one, I bid you mofos, audiences.